Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Practice Course. In this video, we'll discuss how to apply transformations to diverse feature sets. So generally, training data contains diverse features such as numerical and categorical features. Different types of features require different transformations. And we need a way to seamlessly combine these different transformers. So sklearn provides composite transformer. sklearn.compose module has useful classes and methods that we can apply on a subset of features and combine them. There are two classes that we'll focus on. One is column transformer and second is transform target regressor. Let's first look at column transformer. Column transformer applies a set of transformers to columns of an array or pandas data frame. It concatenates the transformed output from different transformers into a single matrix. The column transformers are useful for transforming heterogeneous data by applying different transformers to separate subset of features. It combines different feature selection mechanisms and transformations into a single transformer object. Let's look at a concrete example of how to specify the column transformer. So here we have an example of a column transformer. We first, we first instantiate an object of column transformer by specifying different transformations that we want to apply on different columns. So here, this is the name of the transformer. This is the actual transformer which is instantiated here and this is the index, the feature index or the column index on which this transformer has to be applied. Consider the following feature matrix as a concrete example. We have six samples and two features. The first feature represents the weight and second feature represent the gender of students in the class. The first column is numeric and second column is categorical. So we need different transformers on each of these features. In this example, let us apply max absolute scalar on numerical column and one hot encoder on the categorical column. So this is our original feature matrix. We apply max absolute scalar on the first column and the one hot encoder on the second column. So we specify the max absolute scalar on the first column and one hot encoder along with its argument on the second column. We give the names to each of this transformer. The first transformer is named as a scalar and second one is named as gender encoder. So we can use these names in order to refer to these transformers in column transformer object. So after applying column transformation, you can see that the first column is transformed according to max absolute scalar and is the maximum value which got transformed to value of 1 and the other values are scaled according to the maximum absolute value. Whereas the second column which was a categorical column is converted into a one-hot encoding representation. So since there are two unique values, male and female, so this single column is transformed into two columns. The first column corresponds to female and the second column corresponds to male. You can see that wherever there is male, the, the second column or in this transform feature representation, the third column is one wherever there is male. In, the, in, in that corresponding sample. And whenever there is, a, there is female, the second column of the transform feature matrix is one. So this is how the column transformer works. It allows us to apply different transformations to different feature columns based on their types. The second class is transform target regressor. It transforms a target variable before fitting a regression model. 
the target variable is also referred to as label. The predicted values are mapped back to original space via inverse transform. This is very important because we will be making predictions in the, in the transform space but we want those predictions translated back into the original space and that is done to the inverse transform. The transform target regressor takes regressor and transformer as inputs. So let's take a concrete example. So here we instantiate an object of transform target regressor by specifying a, by specifying a linear regression uh, as a regressor and we specify the, the function, the transformation function to be np.log. So we want to apply a log transformation on the label. And we also specify what is the inverse, what is the inverse transform. So exponential is the inverse of log, hence we specify exponential as the inverse transform. And we generate some data randomly and labels and we call the fit method on this transform target regressor by providing the feature matrix and the label vector. So this tt.fit first applies a transformation on the target and then it performs the fit of the feature matrix and the, the transform target. This is how transform target regressor works and whenever we make prediction with transform target regressor, we will get output in the transform space which we translate back into, into the original space using the inverse function that is specified as an argument of the transform target regressor. 